How to pipe the steam and condensate side of a steam to fluid shell and tube heat exchanger. We start with a pressurized steam source. This inlet piping leads to a vertical drop which drains condensate from the steam pipe. At the bottom of this drop is a small valve to blow out the dirt that collects over time. This drop is drained by a small steam trap with integral isolation valves, strainer, and check valve. Pipe off the top of the steam line to avoid condensate. This leads through an isolation valve and is then piped to a strainer. The strainer has a blowdown valve. The steam is then directed through a steam separator to ensure optimum clean and dry steam downstream free from water droplets and particles. From the bottom of the separator, another drip leg and steam trap drain away the removed condensate. From the steam separator, steam goes through a process isolation valve and is piped to a strainer with the blowdown valve. It next travels through a control valve and another isolation valve. If a bypass valve is installed in parallel with the control valve, the process can be operated manually to ensure no downtime while the control valve is serviced. This leads us to the shell and tube heat exchanger. On the head of the unit, there is a cold fluid inlet and a hot fluid outlet. On top of the heat exchanger, on the opposite end from the steam inlet, a vacuum breaker is installed, which will break the vacuum under any conditions where the steam pressure in the shell would tend to fall below atmospheric. Also piped at this location of the shell is a thermostatic air vent, which will discharge air and other non-condensable gases when present. This discharge of this vent should be piped to a safe location. As heat is exchanged and fluid is heated, steam turns into condensate, which drains from the bottom of the shell and down the condensate leg. This is also drained through an isolation valve, a strainer with its blowdown valve, and a larger steam trap. This piping needs to be 14 inches minimum below the heat exchanger to allow positive condensate drainage under all operating conditions. After the steam trap, the condensate goes through a check valve and an outlet isolation valve. This condensate is piped horizontally and down to an atmospheric condensate return line, which picks up the discharge from the other steam traps and then returns to a condensate pump system or directly back to the boiler room.